of trust, companies need to communicate or signal the authenticity of their purpose. There are many ways to do so. The crucial part is not the choice of signal, but rather the choice to signal. All companies can achieve purpose. Some companies choose traditional legal structures and cease earnings guidance, adopt integrated reporting and integrated guidance. Other companies choose to become B Corps and go through the B Lab certification process. Finally, some companies choose to adopt alternative legal forms, for example, becoming a public benefit corporation. Each choice has benefits and costs that need to be carefully considered. And speaking of legal form, corporate law has undergone a complete transformation in recent years, with new corporate forms now available across the US and also emerging globally. Underpinning the topic of corporate purpose are two central themes, law and culture. Is it society's formal rules in law that are driving behaviour, or the informal rules of culture? We conducted a statistical analysis that suggests both are important. To determine whether it is law or culture that matters in shaping mission-driven companies, we conducted a statistical analysis using data for 32 countries on their level of shareholder primacy in the law and a short or long-term oriented national culture. What we discovered was that there are more certified B Corps in countries which are culturally more oriented towards the short term. We also find that there are more B Corps in countries with a higher degree of shareholder primacy present in the law. The evidence suggests that law and culture both play an important role in enabling purpose-driven companies to scale and achieve profitability.